Hi, I'm Jack Stoker from Drop Dead Dandies and you're watching Brew Music TV from the High Tea Cast. Uh, well, Drop Dead Dandies started in November last year, uh, me and my friend Andrew at Southampton. Um, we sort of heard about electro swing, which is like, it's quite a new music form that's coming through. And it's essentially music from the 1930s, just essentially mixed with house and electro music and dubstep and things like that. And um, we sort of heard it, really liked it, made our first track, which was um, Swing Swing Swing, which sort of got quite big quite quickly and uh, it's been played sort of around the world by DJs and it's yeah, essentially us sort of making our own sort of uh, jazz and uh, new jazz, funk, house, swing music and sort of mixing it all together. Who says we've been played all around the world? Um, yeah. Where, where specifically? Southampton. Uh, <laughs> um, well, we um, there's a DJ in France who we know has played some of this stuff uh, around there. Um, we've got um, Dusty Moonshine who are English DJ Joe play all around England. Um, we know it's been listened and downloaded literally anywhere you can think of so and that's mainly by DJs because like I said it's still quite a small genre so it's mainly just DJs hearing it and they're sort of putting it in, into their sets a little bit so yeah it's sort of been everywhere. It's actually quite it's quite a strange one but mm. also quite refreshing. Yeah. Um, can you explain the sort of concept of it? Yeah I think it was um, Nick Hollywood was one of the first guys to um, sort of pioneer it and uh, started around Brighton and London, the main sort of big areas for it, and uh, yeah, it's literally the first few tracks. There's a track by a uh, gramophone DJ called Why Don't You, which was um, sort of the first big track that came through, and it's literally a song from the 1930s where he just added sort of modern drums and bass to it, and he started playing it in his sets, and it just got bigger and bigger from that, and now you've got hundreds and hundreds of DJs making it and doing it, and just trying to get it sort of mainstream. Yeah, sort of highlights uh, for you since Got Dead Dandies kicked off. Um, I suppose uh, not that long ago actually, Dusty Moonshine, uh, like I said, DJ duo, um, invited us to come and see them play, because there's a new electro swing night with the Black and White Carnival, which just started in Southampton. And um, the opening night, they sort of invited us down, and we just sort of hung out with them, spoke to their manager, spent the night with them. It was which was amazing, yeah. All right, that, so that's a highlight. Oh, was that's that, a highlight. Was that fun? Yeah, it was absolutely class. Because they're amazing, yeah. like, genuinely amazing what they do. And yeah, just sort of hang out with them and actually talk with people who know the music and be there with people dressed in sort of... Because that's the thing about Electro Swing nights, usually people dress in and 1930s clothes oh, and then cool. dance around, which is a bit different from the usual stuff you get in the club every other day where it's... Yeah not that nice essentially so yeah it's, it's kind of I think um, it was Nick Hollywood because he's from um, like I said the guy sort of came up with it has a, a great way of saying it saying that if the people who come all dress up then they're part of the show as well and part of the act and it's all the music and then all sort of one which is kind of a like you said it's quite refreshing quite nice yeah. is that um, like certain clubs like do they always do electro swing or is it certain nights like um, I think it's still sort of um, just certain nights I don't think you'll find a, a, just a club that does just electro swing but um, there are electro swing nights in London and Brighton um, every couple of weeks and I mean the one in Southampton is every month and I know there's a load in France and again it's sort of spreading out and yeah, I think it's. I don't think it'll ever really get to that stage where we'll have an electro swing club. Uh, so I think clubs that obviously want a bit of variety. Yeah. But the number of nights and the number of times it's getting played in normal nights as well is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So that's it's it's getting there. I mean, it's been a couple of years that it's sort of been going. So I think give it a couple more years and it'll be sort of a lot more people know that. I hope. Has you or your music had any involvement in the nights? Um. There, yeah, well, this this black and white carnival, which was which is sort of the first, um, that was the opening night, and that was only a couple of, about a month ago. Um, our music, one of our songs was played when we were there, which was quite a great, quite a weird experience, but great. And um, there's another couple of clubs in Southampton that uh, we've heard one of our songs, Swing Swing Swing, be played as well. Um, while we were there. And I mean, again, that wasn't an electro swing night and it was still put into the set, which is kind of cool. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's been played around for so I think there's a couple of people in Nottingham who said they've heard it be played a bit up there as well. So it's, it's sort of edging its way into 
normal sets, which is sort of, I guess, the best way for it to get yeah. these people. So it's just, just kind of cool. written your own original songs for Drop the Dandies? Yeah. Um, the majority of our songs are original music. Um, is that difficult or something that you're used to? It's it's difficult, um, and it's sort of, uh, it, when we f- the first few songs we sort of released, um, I guess it, it wasn't really swing, it was more just electro <coughs> jazz, mainly. Um, it was kind of difficult to start with because it's not the sort of music we've ever sort of done, like for writing. But it's sort of got a bit, we've got a bit more used to it. And I think it's getting that mix of making our own stuff and then remixing older tracks because that's, I think, just as fun because it's such an odd thing to remix a song from the 1930s. And finding songs to do it as well sort of just broadens our ear, I guess, on swing. But yeah, sort of at the moment, I'd say it's more. I'd say it's about 50-50 at the moment. It's just finding the right songs to what artists have inspired you, whether it's to do with Electro Swing or just generally? Um, I'd say, well, Gramophone Detail, just because it's the first I heard, and um, it was an amazing song. Um, Lea Le Tomps as well, a great French Electro Swing rock. Um, I think the biggest is Power of Stella, who's um, sort of Swing House, I guess is how I'd describe him. He is, he's sort of the biggest name out there at the moment. And um, he's sort of doing what I'd love us to be able to do, and that's uh, sort of a mixture of he DJs, but he has a full live band as well. And that's the sort of thing I'd love for us to have. It's just people that all have a brass part, and have guitars, and everything all there. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, I'd say Power Stella is probably the biggest influence because he's he's the guy that's sort of really making it big at the moment. And I guess for DJing, mainly Danny Moonshine actually. And um, Kiwi stuff. What song would you recommend our listeners to go and hear to get them into Drop Dead Dandies? Um, I guess if you want to listen to us, I'd listen to our first track, Swing Swing Swing, first of all. Uh, it's a remix of an old Benny Goodman song called Sing Sing Sing. We were quite happy with our genius note. And, um, and then I guess uh, sort of listen to tracks like Scratch Vinyl from us, which is more of a original music. Um, and I guess if you just want to get into Electro Swing from the start, I guess Why Don't You by Grandpa Zeta, as I've mentioned, and probably Cat Groove by Pal Stella is another great one. And then hope then get our EP when it eventually comes out called the Black Tie, then that'll be that's a great way to get into us. So you're working on EP right? <laughs> yeah, it's um, essentially finished. It's sort of um, I guess we're about halfway there. Uh, just sort of final bits of tinkering to get it done. Um, we're looking at probably releasing it hopefully around end of May time is probably when it's coming out. Uh, it's going to be free and um, hopefully, hopefully it just sort of um, spread our name out and it just pops. So, yeah, it should be going. Are you planning to start like, doing uh, gigs? or? Anything? Yeah, um, again around that time when that comes out, uh, May, June time, uh, we hopefully should be DJing around, fingers crossed around Southampton, but then we sort of want to go essentially around the country um, and just just play anywhere we can because I mean, that was the advantage of seeing Dusty Moonshine at um, the Black and White Carnival, is we got to spend time with them while they were DJing and it just sort of showed us how, it's just, we sort of sat there and thought, yeah, we can do this and sort of just how fun and cool it would be to just go around and do that. So that's, that's the plan, but I think, a proper DJ tour might not happen until maybe near the end of the year. But um, I think we're just going to get get the EP out and then go from there. But should be DJing soon. Yeah, that was Jack Soker from Job Dead Dandies. Yeah. <laughs>